Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. All right, guys, and tattooed chef lovers, we have got a treat for you today. We have got yet another new tattooed chef product. We picked this up at Sam's Club. It is the tattooed chef shakshuka bowl and egg, so one singular egg, in a sauce of tomatoes peppers, olive oil, onions, garlic, and spices. This is a cage-free egg. There are four 10 ounce bowls of it, and this is $12.88. It is gluten-free and vegetarian. So it's basically just egg and sauce. And if you guys are new here, we are pretty much the largest and most comprehensive Tattooed Chef reviewers on YouTube. That's right, so that means it's a blessing and a curse. Yes, it the is. The reason is, Tattoo Chef, our videos do well, but here's a problem. It's got a very passionate fan base, not for the products, but for the stock. So there's a lot of people who are really into the stock. They want it, they want to see it go to like a hundred, two hundred, a thousand dollars. To the moon, exactly. And so when you don't like their food, they get really passionate. Mm -hmm. And as you can imagine, being the largest tattoo chef reviewers. There's a lot of heat that comes with it That's right. because especially the most recent products, man, they have not been good. We don't hate all of their products. They make some good products, but not everything is a home run. Exactly, because it seems lately they're going downhill. And this product is one egg and I'm guessing the sauce is going to be either like a pasta sauce or a salsa, something like that, which <laughs> That's a lot of money you're paying. Well, and it's a lot of just sauce in here. It's very, very strange. <laughs> now, Sam's Club loves this brand. They carry a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Target has a lot of their products. Now, Costco has, I believe, their ACI bowl every now and then. And usually it's on clearance now. Yeah, and this, you know, they have great packaging. I think that's what really helps them. Yeah. But it is pricey, so let's find out if it's worth your harder money. That's right. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back. Our rating system. Thumbs up, we buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. This thing is pretty much an egg with, I would say, a cross between salsa and pasta sauce. The sauce is okay. It's not amazing. And let's face it, you're getting one freaking egg that's it. I feel like this needed like two, three eggs in here mm -hmm. to justify the price. Thumbs down. Okay. Well, for me, it's going to be a big ol' thumbs down. My first bite of this, I just tasted the sauce and I was like, number one, this is very, very bitter. Like it was a, a bitter tasting tomato sauce as if like, either something was off with the tomatoes or something was off with the spices that they put in it. I agree. But then also there was this weird aftertaste. And then I made my way over to the ingredient list. There's maple syrup in here, which is freaking bizarre. And it definitely leaves an aftertaste where you're like, I'm eating something savory, but then I feel like I'm having pancakes for breakfast. It's a very weird juxtaposition there, but Main thing is, and what I was most surprised by that you actually said, this was like a cross between a salsa and a pasta sauce, and that's what I thought in my mind. This is basically like if you mixed like a chunky salsa with some like smooth pasta sauce, and this is what you would get. So imagine you're eating one freaking egg, then after that, it's just this. Tablespoon after tablespoon after tablespoon like, of sauce. Would you wanna pay a lot of money for that? That seems like a very bizarre. I mean, you're paying like, three and like 22 cents or whatever, 322 for this. That is number one, the tattooed chef has got some big balls on her for charging that much money for a formed egg like thing. Like it's not even a whole egg, it's an egg patty. And then you've just got a bunch of cheap tomato sauce that doesn't even taste good. I just can't even believe though, like, the actual bitterness of this sauce. Like it really took me aback. And the egg, I didn't think that it was a very good quality. It was like, I could get that at McDonald's. Yeah, this needed more egg. It, it needed more egg and it needed a better sauce. Sometimes you need more cowbell. 
this time more egg. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.